in this module we'll talk about protein structure we'll talk about the primary structure of proteins secondary structure tertiary structure and quaternary structure of protein the primary structure of protein is basically the sequence in which amino acids are linked together we have already mentioned that amino acids are basic unit of proteins they are the monomers these monomers are linked together with one another through a peptide bond peptide bond forms by a, 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 when a water molecule is removed from the two adjacent amino acids a condensation reaction the carboxyl group of one amino acid forms a bond the carbon present in the carboxyl group forms a bond with the nitrogen atom of an adjacent amino acid this bond when it forms a water molecule is lost so carbon nitrogen bond is basically the bond that is holding two monomers of a protein together this bond is called peptide bond the primary structure as i mentioned is basically result of these peptide bonds the sequence of different amino acids in a protein molecule the the diversity of different combinations we can form by linking two amino acids is very great we can take a simple example if we want to link two amino acids together we can have four hundred different combinations in which we can link two amino acids with each other as we have mentioned there are 20 amino acids so the formula for calculating diversity is 20 to the raised power n n is the number of amino acids present in a protein so if you are talking about just two amino acids it will be 20 to the raised power 2 which is 400 if we are talking about a medium sized protein say 100 amino acids long the with this formula it would be 20 to the raised power 100 this is a very large number in fact this is this number is so large that it is we don't have enough electrons in this universe the number of electrons in this universe is less than this number 20 to the raised power 100 the one thing i also want you to pay attention to is the red oxygen atoms and the blue hydro nitrogen atoms the hydrogen atom attached to this blue nitrogen atom can form a hydrogen bond with an oxygen atom which is denoted by a red ball in this diagram this type of bonding is important in formation of secondary structures i will highlight uh, these these atoms that i'm talking about here is the the oxygen atom that i mentioned and here is the nitrogen atom and this nitrogen atom is attached to the hydrogen atom so this hydrogen atom the white ball can form a hydrogen bond with the oxygen atom and this is important in the secondary structure there are two types of secondary structures alpha helices and beta sheets alpha helices are present in fibrous proteins they result from formation of hydrogen bond between the hydrogen atom attached to the nitrogen atom in the peptide bond and also the oxygen atom which is attached to the carbon atom the two types as i mentioned alpha helices and beta sheets these are the two types of secondary structures tertiary structures basically is the the manner in which the whole protein folds upon itself the, this tertiary structure can have smaller domains which are composed of secondary structures alpha helices or beta sheets they these this folding of a protein upon itself is can be stabilized by all types of different bonds that we have talked about 
hydrogen bonds, covalent bonds, the sulfur, we talked about cysteine, sulfur atoms forming the, the sulfide bond, and also ionic interactions. The quaternary structure basically is more than one protein molecules coming together and forming a larger structure, multi subunit, a multi subunit entity with more than one protein components. Next, we will talk about certain features of the proteins in the next module.